Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing the new arena on the PBE. It just uh, came out if you guys want to play it. As you can see, the arena looks a lot different and there's a lot of players. That's because they have done a huge amount of changes to try to make the game even more fun than what it was previously. It was already pretty damn fun. And uh, man, these, these early game augments are not it. Each time you immobilize an enemy, gain adaptive force for the round. Mm. Increase max health? I, I think the increased max health is better. Um, so yeah. Uh, how the game works is that you are on the rounds. If you're completely new to Arena, you do 2v2 fights with this teammate. I just play with a random player. And uh, you can see the opponents also get their own augments, and that's how the game really goes. And they added a bunch of stuff to try to make it more fun. Firstly, there's double the amount of players, right? So 16 players, way more teams to go against. So it, it tries to make it so it's, I guess, just less stale, you know? Um, because it could get kind of stale playing the game against, like... Y you would get matched against, like, a really good team comp, and it would feel so frustrating that you just always lose versus those guys. So I feel like adding more of them just like really incentivizes like wait dude nefiri's dogs kind of completely uh screw up zoe really hard so oh, finally i landed a bubble on her you can maybe kill her you can't revive uh their teammate until that uh circle like fully expands and we were able to win so, uh, anyways, the things that they have added is anvils. It's like a gambling system. So they added this gambling into the game where you can actually get random stats, semi-random stats. It probably will try to incentivize give, giving you stuff that like actually makes sense. Like I'm not gonna probably get AD out of the stats. And you're gonna see that next round because on round two, it gives you these anvils. So they uh, are variant, you know, there's attack speed and ability haste on this one. And you can see eight to 16, so you can roll higher amounts and these are permanent for the rest of the game the magic pen sounds pretty good to me so i'm gonna take that and you can actually see it down here on your anvil stats i know that my thing just popped up but look at that you can see it down there and you can buy it so you can spend money to get more of these infinitely as long as you have the money for it you can just continue buying it so that's pretty cool i'm sure that there's gold augments in the game where you can actually do some crazy stuff the other cool thing is that these legendary items, you can buy it, once again, a semi-random selection of less expensive things. So this only costs 200, you save 500 gold, but of course, then you don't get exactly what you want, right? So like, do you wanna take the risk of spending 500 less to get something that might be good and might be bad? This is one of the new rounds, I really hate this one. Wait, what? Dang, I tried to get it around the swing, but it didn't work. Maokai's not able to finish her, bro. I'm so dead. He's just gonna have to... I think that we lose this round. I think that their comp is just better, and I don't deal enough damage to kill the swing ever, so... I'm assuming that we can't win. Although, I'm being revived and his teammate isn't? Yet? I mean, I'll heal myself, but it's like, I'm just stuck out here. I really hate this round because this thing really is not good. It doesn't feel good for Zoe because a lot of times, even if you can play the far away, uh, far away game, um, you can't land your Q. <laughs> you can land bubbles, but then you can't follow up. So it just kind of sucks. Anyways, the other thing that they added are these. These are prismatic items so they're special some of them are things you've probably seen before your damaging items can earn energize and trigger energize when you trigger energize deal damage for each time you've triggered energize that's cool but it sounds like something really good for like hmm You know, maybe this isn't that bad. I've never tried it before. On Energize Attack, gain a rune for the rest of the round. Fire a missile that deals 40 damage for each time you have stacked 
that rune. So... I get energized, honestly, really quickly, so I guess this is actually really good for Zoe. Because whenever I use my portal jump, I'm getting uh, my energized back up. I really expected you to juke that. You just didn't even care, did you? Hey, are you coming over to help? Yeah, honestly, this is really good. Okay, cool. So now we know that this is super strong for Zoe. Ramping damage. They also get their own. So you can see that, like, she got something attacks and non-ultimate abilities. Cast Anticipation that gives you ultimate damage and ultimate ability haste. So she can just use her ultimate more often. And he has something that makes it so every single attack applies true damage. And, it's, and it scales off of armor. Interesting. It's a beefy boy situation over here. When you have a bunch of, like, bruisers fighting each other, the rounds last so damn long, because bruisers... I always think that bruisers are some of the best champions for these types of game modes, but sometimes when you get augments like mine, the longer the game uh, goes on for, I will eventually get to the point that I can beat them. Now, I could go for another prismatic item, but I don't really think that's probably very good for me. There's, you can see all of them down here. You can buy it through this, the anvil. It's a random one. Or I can just spend money on a legendary. I'm going to save my money and just get a random one. Let's get a Seraphs. I think Seraphs is going to be good. What Seraphs will give us is tankiness because I've already played some Zoe rounds. Sometimes you just die and it's not very fun. I'm going to buy an anvil as well. 40 AP from a stat. That's permanent. I'm going to buy another one. Wait. Did it just give it to me randomly? It disappeared, so I don't know how that works. Wait, why did she wake up? This round isn't that bad when you have a... Why are they going for my teammate rather than me? Dude, I am starting to get some huge amount of stacks from my thing. <laughs> I can see the DPS coming through. Maokai is just invincible, too. How many stacks do I have? Eight? Like, do you see all of the barrage of the damage from my item? <laughs> yeah, it's doing a lot, actually. Okay, so this is the random one that I got. So I will just choose the random one because both of these kind of suck. It gave me armor and more AP, it looks like. And it was a lot of AP, so my AP once again has went up. I'm going to buy a death cap. One more round until I uh, also enable my Archangels to be good. There is an item in the game that's super random, and I like this item. This one is so fun to play. This one lets you reroll stats, and every single time you reroll, it gets stronger, but you only can do it twice per round, and sometimes you can screw yourself over. This is just a, a cool thing that they added. I really like the prismatic uh, items that they did. So I think those are all the changes that they made besides, like, it feels like between rounds, I really hated the buying rounds because it was so boring, but now it feels like you have more variety of what you want to do, you know? And that's cool. I like that. Okay. I mean, I'll just leave. Yeah, Lux, I know that, like... I'm not the only person that exists on the map, right? Or am I the only person that exists on the map? That Lux was literally aiming for me the entire time. You're dead. Dang, was that our first loss? I think it was. No, wait, those guys actually are undefeated. We could have beaten them, though. That was just my fault. Oh, he has Prowlers. That's how he got on top of me. So Prowlers is a prismatic item. He also has another prismatic item, too. Divine Sunder. Wait, how does everybody have two prismatic? No, wait. Yeah, wait, he did. Is this? 
No, this isn't prismatic. Never mind. Yeah, I couldn't last long enough that round. I needed to definitely survive. Time to raise the stakes. If you win this round, get 20 HP and lucky dice. What? I should have read that. That's so important. That's why they're at 100 now? Your item damage can critically strike. Wait. Eh. But I feel like there must be something else that's more important. I mean, that could make this item crit, which is good. But I feel like there must be something else. When you flash, there's an explosion. First time you would die, instead restore to full HP. I'll just get the this. This this uh is like Renata. You don't actually um revive. So I think getting the bonus AP is probably better. Oh, it looks like we have a round where uh, we're not facing anybody, so we just get to watch other people. It looks like the Urgot's gonna win. It looks like he's just invincible. Why is he healing for so much? Heal you for 2% of the target's current HP. Yeah, Urgot literally just has on his W and is walking around in circles. <laughs> He's literally never using like any other ability. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they win. And the other round is Swain Ash versus this Zinzao. Another Ash. Why is there so many Ashes? Oh my god, she's attacking so fast. Uh, she wins? Okay. Wait, this is still going on. I finally have my shield, by the way. When I when I was facing that Volbear and Urgot, I didn't have my uh, Seraphs yet. But now that I have it, thankfully I would get a shield that might really influence uh, the fight. Okay, so this is just like another uh, Anvil Shard. Let's get Ability Haste. Let's just try to make it so I have uh, my E on a lower CD. I really think that the best way to sometimes beat some of these team comps is just land E consistently from far away. I'm not buying any potions. Hopefully that doesn't really matter. Yeah, they're both dead. Oh my god, this Sona doesn't die. Jeez, dude. I should have not burned that flash there. I should have held on to it. Because you can actually store these between rounds on Zoe. So keeping it could have given me a flash. Your flash regenerates every single other round. So if you use it, I'm not going to have it for the next one. Wait, time to raise the stakes? Was that, was that recent? No, that was a really long time ago. Dang it, man. We need uh, our HP back. All right, another item for us. I think that Horizon Focus is pretty good. We're playing versus the Ash Zinzao. I don't have flash. Oh, I can buy an anvil. I'll buy an anvil. AP magic pen. What is my magic pen? 36? I think AP. We have 800 AP now. 102 from anvil. That's, that's actually a lot. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of anvils. I have five of them. So if we beat these guys, they get kicked out. Yeah, they get kicked out. Okay, I get hit by an arrow, but that's chill. Because I didn't uh, die, so. Zinzao dies. You, oh, I, I lined that up. I was hoping Maokai would cue the person towards me. He literally set that up so well so I could land that long range cue on her. 
Well played. So those guys are going to get kicked out. The Volibear and the Urgot still are undefeated. We need to figure out a way of beating these guys, but sometimes people get god stuff. I'm just reading some of their things. This guy, champion takedown, heal yourself and your ally. And he shreds armor magic resist up to 10 times. Adaptive force. So you can also build this on like a AP as well. All right, well, Urgot seems like a, something that people should probably be banning because he seems kind of just really strong. I think that if we want to win this round... Oh, wait. Do they win? Oh, no, they don't. Dealing damage deals true damage. I get a shield. Wait. Dealing damage with ability fires magic missiles dealing damage up to 1% based off of distance traveled? I'm hoping that this will allow us... Okay, we're not even facing the uh, the Volibear one, but we are facing another Urgot comp. Let's see how it goes. Dang. I'm sorry, bro. Dude, Set is such an annoying character because he actually just blocks you on repeat. Yeah, he just blocked that Q again. The Set's honestly blocking every single ability that I got. Dang, we lose this. There's no way that I can carry this. We need like anti-heal or something, because I did so much. That was 18,000 damage. Are we facing somebody again? Oh, we, we get to watch. Hopefully the uh, the one that's even stronger than us just dominate the other, I hope. We want the Urgot and the Volibear to beat the other team. Do they, how much health do they lose? Wait, that was a high stakes round. They get HP. Wait, that's actually so unlucky. So maybe they don't get kicked out? They don't. They live with 10. Dang. And then we're going to have to face a, like, impossible comp. Yeah, Urgot seems like a must-ban in this game mode for sure. Do you have anti-heal? My own teammate? How do I unspectate? Unimmobilize, heal. No, 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 deal damage based off your HP, actually. So much healing, bro. So much healing. Karma dies, or is her healing too much? She dies, but the, they don't get kicked out, sadly. And now we're in the round. That's gonna be such an issue. Okay, so I'm gonna sell my Guardian's Orb and buy, obviously, Morello's. I mean, that's the best possible thing I can buy, I think. I don't know if there's any other item that would allow me to uh, shred healing besides this. Oh, we're facing the team that lost. Oh, you even have a Thornmail. Wait, Thornmail is supposed to be good against Urgot, but honestly didn't do anything.
Well, good luck us, man. Hopefully it's not the lily pad level. No, I missed everything, bro. I have to go long range because if I don't land long range abilities, then it's doomed. I can't even break her thing, bro. I don't think that there's a way for us to win this. I think that, unfortunately, this is just a like must ban scenario. Doesn't matter how much stuff I land, I can't win. I did pretty good damage there, it's just not enough. <laughs> My god, bro. Healing perseveres. She also has magic missile and stuff. Hey, you killed somebody. So yeah, that's the game mode. And now that you guys understand it, hopefully I can uh, have some more games of it now. I'll be banning Urgot or Karma, whatever it might be. It's probably easier to play against than the uh, other stuff. But thanks for watching that so you understand it a bit more. Hey guys, I might have made a mistake. Because I picked Callista. I feel like I should have not picked this. I had a Milio and he picked it before me. And I was like, damn, what, should I pick something that's like a carry? And I pick, pick Callista. Your attacks reduce your cooldowns. Your abilities can crit. My E can crit? Is that is that crazy? Is this is this letting me cook? Am I cooking up something or am I being stupid right now? Also, I need to use this on Milio really badly. I cooked. I cooked something. My abilities can crit. Didn't kill him, sadly. Oh my god, I didn't die. I killed him. Nice. Okay, dude. He's gonna take the portal now. Good shield. Nice. Good dub, dude. I'm gonna use this on you. We, we won that without using this, and this actually does damage. So, like, that was kind of a big deal. <laughs> this does a 14% max HP when both of you hit him, but it's a 10 second CD, but if I didn't, yeah, I don't know. We, that was like harder than necessary, right? Dude, lethal tempo in Conquer. Could you imagine if I had that instead? Movement speed, AD, AD and AP. I wish I could look at my damn abilities because like what if what if what if I have double scaling on my abilities? Guess I'll get it. I don't know. Oh, it does have AP scaling. Look at that. There is AP scaling on this. Oh, God. Great. Raid boss. Uh, well, I might be screwed over here. I don't know if I can ever kill this guy. 
I don't deal any damage to him whatsoever. <laughs> I think I think we might need like a Vork, maybe. But like that guy's just invincible. Uh, I think that even if I didn't go across and we tried kiting backwards with Milio, it would have never worked. We were like super screwed. Our our comp cannot deal with that. But trust, once I get better crit chance, okay, maybe don't trust. Honestly, this this could be really bad. <laughs> maybe it was a terrible idea to go for the thing that I did. Do I go Gwinsu's? Oh, what is this? Dealing damage with an attacker and ability has a chance to store gold payout at end of the round. Energized attacks deal percent magic damage, and if the target is not the same as your previous, fully refund your charges. Gambler's Blade sounds fun, but man, it's gonna... I, I'm not, like, I don't think we can win. You have to win to get paid out, I think. So I'm gonna get this one. I have to. She has the same item. Dude, how are we supposed to kite these guys? Honestly. Oh my god, bro. Well, I did manage to kill her before I died. It's just that, uh... Like, if I take Milio in my Fate's Call, I don't even think that helps in that scenario, so... That was a really good kick by you. Oh my god. Oh, very close, dude. That was so annoying. Lots of damage. It didn't feel like I did any damage there, bro. I don't know if he's being sarcastic or nothing, but like, I, I, I didn't feel very strong there. The thing is, I want crit chance, but at the same time, I don't. Because if I go crit chance, and, uh... Hmm. I think I need to go like Bork. Nah, I'm gonna take this. So this is supposed to be like an anti-tank item and these guys are kind of tanky so I'm hoping that it's gonna work out for me. That damage, honestly, is not bad at all. Kill Tivers. I'm just being hyper-focused, but of course that makes sense, because I am the carry. He got me. They did a good job. That guy's 1 HP, but I can't get him. Oh man, you're gonna die before I respawn. I managed to kill her, but I just can't freaking live. What else can I go? That guy's full AP. I'm gonna build this, honestly. I think I'm gonna go tanky. Oh shit, he has the talisman. His talisman gave him 200 MR. 
Oh, he just swapped it for 77 AP. Dude, 200 MR would have been good this round. This guy just has a bunch of uh, these types of items. The, um, the prismatic ones. Uh, ow. That hurt. Oh, is Malphite AFK? Dang. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry that he's AFK. Cut that? That honestly crits for so damn much. Like, if I'm able to get better items, like, with even more crit chance, to make it so my spells always crit, that's going to be pretty gigantic. We only need 100% crit chance, then it will always work. That's the idea. Sucks that somebody left, though. Your attacks infinitely stack, gain movement speed. Infinitely stacking, burning. I mean, it's not bad. It's more damage, but like, it's... Do I need more damage? Ah, this. After using a dash, leap, or blink, gain armor, magic, resist. That's what I want. So this is going to make it so uh, I'm tanky. Because I, I think that ideal enough is just that I need to last long enough to have a bunch of spears in people, so when I press my E, I hit really hard. That's that's my concept that I'm going for. Yeah, he is making me so strong, bro. I'm becoming much tankier with uh, my stuff, plus he's also just making really tanky. Attack speed. Attack speed. Attack speed? Did Milio just get something that benefits me? Oh no, he just got an augment. What am I saying? Wait, what the heck is that around her? Stars orbit you. Oh no. <laughs> Wait a second, dude. And she's playing a champion that like sticks on you. No. So you're telling me that she's just going to try to, like, get on top of me and then I, I just can't move? Oh, man. He's going to definitely take that over, no? That's what he's wanting to do. We definitely want that Swain thing to expire. And then once it expires, then we go in. I'm stuck. Well, they got us. The old poppy trick that never went out of fashion. Just, just knock everybody outside of the arena and just wait. And there's nothing we can do about it. I still can't really kill tanks, man. I can't really kill tanks. Should I just be tankier again with Terminus? I guess. I have no idea if my team or my uh, 
champion build path is Giga Grief, or I'm actually just like cooking up something that makes sense. I'm hoping to become tanky. So. Now I have Pen, so I, I deal more, which is good. So. I'm hoping that it's good. Oh no. That guy has that? Yeah, um... I think Callista was not the move. I think there was a mistake on picking this. <laughs> My god, I am actually just worthless. Nice try, Milio. I tried, bro. It's so hard. Wait, we're actually not out? I thought we were out. Gain attack damage scaling with your attack speed. Gain crit chance. At this point, it seems that, honestly, even with the crit chance, I don't even know if I can, like, get them. I'll get the crit chance anyways, because who knows, but... IDK. Uh, this, this also is, like, one of the worst places to be. Really? Man, that fear. I tried, I tried. I got her low, but it's just not enough. Oh, that lantern's really good. But, I mean, I'm gonna respawn with no HP, though. Oh my god, we won! Milio, you're smurfing it! Okay, dude. And we also kicked those guys out. Dude, Milio, thank god I have you on my side. The thing is that my Milio is so tanky. Like, why can't I be tanky? Maybe it's because I'm just being focused? <laughs> he feels way tankier than me, though. Wow, that is a pretty gigantic shield. What the hell? Wait, are those guys kicked out? No. Wait, I get more crit chance? Or I can get magic resist? I think magic resist goes hard. Screw the crit chance at this point. We want the MR. I'm gonna juice up. Good luck. Good luck, man. Good luck. If, if we lose, we're out. So. She's dead. Okay! You don't deal damage to me. Yo! We actually might win! Oh my god. Hmm. Oh, you can change the things depending on what you want to buy. I didn't even realize that. 
What do I want next? Poppy Swain? Should I go Bloodthirster? Would that actually help? <laughs> I don't know. I hope. I hope that the lifesteal allows me to survive longer. I think that using Milio in the beginning also has been good so far, but I mean, I don't know if that's really going to continue happening. Damn, he just pulled me into that. I can't. I can't get out, dude. This Wayne's ultimate did expire, but if Melio can't revive me, it's over, so... Not really much that we can do unless he uh, can manage to get back to me. But that was a hard-fought game, dude. If, if only we were able to, like, I don't know, not play against something so damn difficult. Some people just counter you way too hard. There's nothing I can do. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys, on the uh, arena game mode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Who knows? Maybe I'll do more videos of it inside the future because there's some stuff that you can cook up that sounds pretty fun. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, I don't know if I can look at, like, damage dealt at the end and stuff. I don't even know if that really matters to be honest. GG. Basically, top four is winning. It's just like TFT. So you have to think of it as like, if you get top four, you win. So it's not too difficult to get top four. Most of my games have been top four, but thanks for watching again. See you guys later. Bye. All right, guys, another try on the arena. Get 10 takedowns for Golden Spatula. Huh. Gain moving speed. Alright, we'll golden spatula it up. I mean... <laughs> Ten takedowns. So that means five rounds of killing... Of winning. Or... When you revive somebody, you get another takedown? I think you do. Hmm. I didn't buy! What the? Dude, the rounds go so fast at the beginning if you're like taking your time thinking about what you want to pick. I don't have any AP, so we're, we're going to lose this round. I already know that we won't. Unless Swain smurfs it. Unless Swain smurfs it. He's doing pretty good thus far. Right here? And snared him for you? I snared him again? One hit? Really? Don't get him. Okay. Well, I tried, bro. I gave it my best shot. I should just get a takedown, though. Getting the takedown is good. actually got the two takedowns oh my god i didn't think that we were gonna win that i have no item <laughs> nice no item into uh, here's the the strat i'll get i'm gonna buy uh the uh what is it called 18 magic pen i'll take that i was gonna say i'm gonna go buy an anvil but obviously that's dumb look at all the anvils so that's how it works you can buy any single one that you want Boom, like that. All right, cool, we're strong now. Making our way to finishing the Earth item. The Earth item, by the way, gives you a bunch of stats, but you're also on fire, and I think when you're on fire, you take more damage. So, but it gives you 150 AP, 
And if I get like another augment that's like silver augments, there's some silver augments that aren't very good where it's just like your AD turns into AP. That's actually good now. So there's some augments that might benefit this. Um, if we get like silver augments. Takedowns is what we need. I mean, I'll just take this in front of his face. I get two of them, he gets one. Should I just help kill Smolder, I guess? That's close. We are a little bit of a net win. Like, uh, we have a little bit more HP than them. It's good they have Magic Missile. We got all of that plant, too. They're going for the other one. Dodging that. We probably win, though. Mm, we need to kill Smolder somehow. I think I take this plant. Okay, I'm just trying to be more alive for my teammate. Also, we want the takedown, so I'm going to commit like every single resource because we want to make sure that these takedowns are going to enable me to use my thing. Critical strike chance grants critical strike damage. This is adaptive force, so that does work, but obviously that's not very good for me right now. Night Harvester is just like tankiness. You know, screw it. I'll take it. Why not? I don't want to re-roll and get something bad. But I feel like there's probably better ones for me. On attack, summon Voidlings. Yeah, I don't know. I like how Crown is a Prismatic. I don't feel like that's very good. Biz has Gambler's Blade for attack speed. What? I'm just gonna go to the other side of the map, immediately take this. Got him. One takedown. He might uh, just come back for Fizz, to be honest. So just be ready. And then we just have to try to kill the pike. Oh, I missed my ability. Cringe. Alright, should be able to win now. Did we get multiple takedowns because of what we just did too? I think we do. Okay, cool. Seven. We're doing good now. I'm, I'm honestly super close. I could sell this and buy another Prismatic. Oh, we know I can't. <laughs> it's, it doesn't give me that much gold. I thought it would give me a bunch, but it gave me, like, nothing. Uh, I guess I'll take, like... Cosmic Drive's good. I, I need CDR, probably. Why, do I, why is my CDR so high? Because this gives me 40. He has the one where when you use a dash, you get uh, more stats. He also has something that gives him a bunch of HP when he reaches a certain threshold of... Uh... Okay, so that guy dies immediately. I'm just, like, going to full tank him because it feels like we could just win. Is that 10? That's 9. 9 takedowns. 4, 1, 5. Dang. One more round and we can get our uh, thing, though. It's just a, a normal cur turbo chem tank? Doesn't sound very good, either. Dude, look how much Fizz has in the bank. 1,500 gold? Hmm. 
we're playing against Jin. I think it's a decap angle because the next round, when we get the other item, we're gonna be so strong. The thing is, decap isn't as strong because, as you can see, it only gives 70 AP, so that's like an issue, but I still think it's probably the best thing that I could buy here. I could also buy an anvil. Crit chance. Bonus stats of random. Please give me something good. I think it gave me it gave me health, magic pen, or AP. Wow, that's like probably some of the best ones I could have got. So I'm just tanky. Nice. That's a that's a good roll. We just need to somehow hit Jin with a stray hit somehow. He has no flash. So it should not be too difficult. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, it gave me it now. So I'm on fire now. Yo, I'm on fire permanently. Let's go. Look at my uh, CDs. My CDs are actually non-existent. <laughs> Alright, this might be our, our win. We're gonna actually get first place. Being permanently on fire is kind of good. Of course, we need to sell some of these things, though, to buy other things. Attacks and non-ultimate ability casts grant anticipation up to 40 stacks, giving, giving you ultimate damage. Like, imagine if I swapped an item for that. So then my ultimate damage at 40 stacks, 40 times 3 is 120. 120% bonus damage? I thought people DC'd for a second because everybody stopped, but they're all just like on the next, uh, just looking at this. He might win this. Maybe not. We are undefeated right now, but so is uh, the Darius Echo. Your abilities give you stacking ability haste infinitely. But is there something else that I can get? Like Jeweled Gauntlet for the crit chance? Casting your ultimate also makes you invulnerable. Honestly, I think that this might be a savior because like I already deal a lot and my ultimate's on a low CD and maybe I can now like have Echo jump on me and I just burn it. God, we are so damn strong, bro. We are so strong. It's not even close. Nobody can even get close to us. What is the CD on my ult? Eight second cooldown. How come when I killed them, it felt like my ultimate reset? Damn, soul got, I don't know, maybe he didn't get a decent amount of stacks. More magic pen? Yo. Dude, I have 56 magic pen with no magic pen items. Does this give me magic pen? It doesn't. <laughs> Literally, oh wait, well, boots give me magic pen. That's right. All right, we're versus the A soul trundle. I guess using my ultimate, though, kind of sucks because, you know, I might use it and then I'm just trying to poke, but then I accidentally make myself invulnerable for two seconds, so. Uh, this guy has infinitely stacking stuff. This guy also has infinitely stacking stuff too. Based off his abilities. That's okay though. I think we're pretty damn strong. I hate this map, bro. I hate this map.
Okay, cool. Make myself invulnerable so when he jumps on me there, I'm fine. And then we get the kill. Very nice fight. Hmm. I could buy... I can buy what? Magic pen... Malignance for lower CD ult, I guess. 30 seconds. Wait, it's always 30 seconds. They nerfed it on this game mode. Does that mean no matter what I buy, I can't get it lower? Or it's because I have exactly this amount of ability haste. And there's only three people left, so honestly, this is a... Uh... This guy's tank fizz. Huh. I mean, he's kind of popping off. He has earned 5,000 gold. He's like full, full build. Wait, my ultimate almost reaches. Oh, he's dead. The set got him. Are those guys kicked out? No, they're not. So there's still more fights going on. Your non-ultimate's abilities refresh? I don't even think I need that. I need something else. Magic and armor pen, 25%. That's going to be good, especially against uh, the tanky Fizz. Because the Fizz just won, didn't he? So we're probably going to face him eventually. And you can see that because he's tank Fizz, he's giga tanky. So 55% 55, 55 magic pen is ridiculous. I'm gonna ulti to make it so I don't take damage. GG. Ability haste again? Do I want that? Honestly, I don't really need any of these. <laughs> Omnivamp. I guess I'll just take the AP one. All right, well, we're just gonna buy AP here. If Fizz jumps on me, I might just need to press R immediately just to keep myself alive. I mean, he's not really strong in the sense that he can like... Oh wow, that actually landed on you? I'm also hitting the pike really hard, but he's gonna full heal. Isn't he? Oh, you guys got me, actually? Can Swain live? I should have won that fight, by the way. I should have ultied Fizz. That guy got hit by every single ability, and I was just like, dude. I'm invulnerable during this, so I live. I also landed that binding. It's over. GG! Our, uh, we won in the end. Wait! Oh, it's not over. Uh, yeah. Whoops. Okay, so. If I sell... The Hyper Shot... I can buy a Prismatic item. This? 
Attacks and non-ultimate abilities grant stacks, granting bonus damage. Let's hope that this was not Greep. It increases our damage. And ultimate haste, too. So... I'm not going to take any damage here? Or I am? Really? My ultimate timing was just barely off then because I was just about to... I, I used my ultimate, which makes me even vulnerable, and I guess it didn't work out. Dang. Well, at least I get revived, but I'll probably die this time. I don't even have my ultimate back up. I made myself invulnerable when he jumped on me, so I lived. Okay, GG's. So, that might win. Alright, so I guess you can win on, uh, mages. I have already won on Zoe once, but I wasn't recording that, because it was just my very first game, and it was very hard. And also, we're playing against a Fizz who won tank. Maybe if they, if they had, like, Fiora, how do we win? <laughs> Like, I swear, it's so difficult. But GG's. Hopefully, guys, enjoyed watching it. If you did, uh, subscribe or like the video, whatever you want to do. And I will see you guys in the next commentary. Goodbye.